forgiveness. We need to realize that when we turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in istighfar and tawbah, istighfar and tawbah means repentance and turning to Allah, seeking forgiveness. What is the difference very quickly between istighfar and tawbah? It's interesting that we know. Important. Istighfar is to say, Ya Allah, forgive me. Ya Allah, I have wronged. Ya Allah, I admit the sin. Ya Allah, I will not do it again. Forgive me. That is istighfar. I seek the forgiveness of Allah. And tawbah means to turn, to change your whole life. You return to Allah. So many people, they engage in istighfar, but not in tawbah. And those who engage in tawbah, the istighfar is included. Allahu Akbar. I hope you've understood the difference between the two. So we need to repent and turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying in the Quran, When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to guide someone, He says in the Quran, He opens his heart or He makes it easy for him to tread on the path of Islam. <coughs> <coughs> no, it's okay. MashaAllah. <coughs> I think that happens sometimes to show that we're just human, mashallah. <coughs> we ask Allah to forgive us. Sometimes it's a sin that we might have committed that results in this, yes. <coughs> And sometimes we don't even know what it is, but we take it for granted because of our weakness. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us steadfastness. May He forgive us and may He grant us a turning point so we turn to Him. <laughs> Moments ago I said, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to guide someone, what happens? When Allah has written guidance for someone, He makes it easy for them to tread the path of Islam. So it becomes simple for them to read their salah, to stop lying to stop deceiving and cheating, to stop backbiting, and to engage, perhaps to dress correctly and so on, becomes simple. And if guidance is not written for someone, or if they are not really keen on being guided, it becomes so tough to do that. It's a big mission. If you look at the globe around us, so many people are engaging in so much ibadah. Why is it that we are missing out? Do you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us such that we have to come across people who are more righteous than us in life. What's the reason? One of the reasons is for us to take a page from their lives. If they are human beings, they have five fingers, they cough just like I did. And we should know that I am as human, I also may cough, mashallah, look how I'm covering myself. <clears throat> I may also have the same weaknesses that they have, I have the same mind if I may put it that way I've been given the eyes or the nose and everything is quite similar in terms of organs I've got a brain and so on why is it that I find myself right on the other side this is a question we need to ask ourselves every time we see someone trying to earn the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so when Allah wants to guide someone he opens their doors. He makes it easy for them to tread the path. For this reason, the most important dua you could make or I could make is اِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Guide me, Ya Allah, to the straight path. 